And especially when the President of the United States has not one, but over 20 women who have accused him of sexual misconduct, and the Republican Party has stood by and done nothing in the last several years. We don't just say no means no, we use our votes to scream no means no. We clean the house, we start fresh. Your time is up. For the men in the crowd who are here to show their respect to women, I wanna thank you so much for coming out. It is often all too easy to remain idle and you have chosen today to forge this path with us. And for that, I am most grateful. But I also must ask you to do more than just join us today. I must actually ask you to join us every day. I too have experienced Me Too moments in life, especially as a woman in the field of science, typically one of the only women on the leadership teams. And these are moments that have motivated me to make a difference in my community, in our state, uh, and, and our country at large, and so that everyone is treated with respect and equality. And to do this, I, we, we actually need you to speak out every day and partner, partner with us in that daily office, on the streets, in the notorious locker room. When you see someone mistreating women, it is your duty to speak out. When your colleague has been harassed, it is your duty to speak out. If your wife is belittled, if your mom is disrespected, when your college friend is assaulted, and when a complete stranger on the street is catcalled or demeaned, please, it is your duty to help us speak out. And I know what it's like to wish that the men in my life had spoken out on my behalf. Please don't leave us hanging when we need you the most. Today is our fresh start. And speaking of fresh starts, I have a special announcement to make. It's not only our time to march, it's our time to speak, it's our time to lead, and it's especially our time to run. And with every woman's voice by my side today, it is with the greatest pleasure that I announce to you on a day that has come to capture the strength and power that we as women inherently own. I am officially declaring my candidacy for the United States Senate in Colorado 2020. <laughs> This is my fresh start, it's all of ours. In the coming weeks and months, we'll be sharing more of this journey and we'll have lots more, uh, lots more coming for sure. Uh, this is just the beginning.